Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this awesome song by Lionel Richie called Hello. Okay, so this is a pretty old song. It's old but gold. Okay, really awesome stuff. We'll be teaching them pretty much most of the song because I can't really think of how to break it up but to include most of all the um, sections. So here we go. So I'll give you a preview of what you're going to learn. It goes like this. It's really nice. Okay, so it's quite expressive, um, and it's really nice. The iconic part, the hello, I, is that me you're looking for? That's like the part that everyone knows, okay? But anyway, really nice stuff. It's quite a lot of stuff to learn here, so we're gonna break it up to parts and learn it. How many parts are we gonna break it up? One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. It's about eight parts, wow, a lot of parts. So let's get right into it. So. Right hand for the first part starts on the E, right next to middle C, so two E's, up to A twice, two B's, two C's, D, C, and that's the first part for the right hand. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this, two E's, two A's, two B's, two C's, D, C, and that's the right hand for the first part. Okay, once you get that, left hand, we have four chords here for the first part. These four chords are pretty important for the first few parts because um, it's the same four chords in this sequence, okay? So the four chords are A minor, A, C, E. Second chord is A minor with a G bass, so it's pretty much the same chord plus that G just below it, so G, A, C, E. And then the third chord is F major seven, which is F, A, C, E, four note chord. And then the fourth chord back to the A minor with a G bass, which you know. Okay, so remember these four chords because the first three parts has these same four chords in this order. Okay, so remember A minor, A minor with G bass, F major 7, and A minor G bass again. Okay, so with that in mind, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts first, second E and A minor together, second B and next chord together, after D, F major 7 by itself, next chord by itself. Yeah, so we're doing block chords first, at the end you can add the more rhythmic thing into it, okay? But anyway, so one more time like this. Ta-da! Ta-da! Here. Here. That's it. Okay? So, that's the first part. Moving on to the second part. The second part is nearly the same thing except for the last bit, so exactly the same thing here goes. And it um, changes here, it goes F major 7 by itself, and the right hand goes B, C, B, A. And then after that, the chord again by itself, like that. So it's only the last few notes that changes, and it doesn't have that D as well. Okay, so that's the second part. Very important to learn it with patterns like this, because it allows you to learn stuff a lot quicker by identifying these patterns. Okay, so one more time for the second part. So similar to the first part, the first half is the same, like this. Don't do a D, and F major 7 by itself, and then B, C, B, A. And that's it for the second part. Yeah, so back to back, the first two parts will be played like this, so you can see the differences and how it's played together, like this. Yeah, and that's it. Moving on to the third part. Third part, something awesome happens because the third part is exactly the same as the first part completely, so it's repeat it. That's the third part. Yeah, okay, so before we recap it, we're gonna do the fourth part, okay? The fourth part continues like this, is the hello, is it me you're looking for? It goes D, E, D, C, E, D, D, C, E. It corresponds to the notes. 
He goes, hello, is it me you're looking for? Like that, so remember the notes. D, E, D, C, E, D, D, C, E. Remember it for the right hand. Okay, so the left hand, we have similar chords, but the last chord changes. So the four chords for this fourth part, it's A minor, A, C, E. And then once again, we have A minor, G bass, which you know, G, A, C, E. And then once again, third chord is F major 7, which you know, F, A, C, E. However, the fourth chord changes this time to A major, which is A, C sharp, E. Okay, so slightly different, okay? So with those four chords in mind, so A minor, A minor, G bass, F major 7, and A major. The two hands together goes like this, right hand starts first, E and A minor together. Next chord by itself, E and F major 7 by, together. After E, A major by itself, like that. And that's the fourth part, one more time like this. Together, here, together, here. And that's it for the fourth part. So back to back, the four parts we've learned will be playing like this. Check it out. Okay. That's it. Okay, we're not gonna uh, repeat this fourth part for now. We're gonna finish with the uh, fifth to eighth part. Focus on that because um, this first fourth part is kind of like a section on its own as well. Okay, so let's move on to the fifth part now. So the fifth part, right hand continues, goes D E F E E D D, and then C D E D D C C G A, and that's the fifth part. One more time for this fifth part. So let's play like this. So it goes D E F E E D D. C, D, E, D, D, C, C, G, A. And that's the right hand for this fifth part. Once you get that right hand there, left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are D minor, which is D, F, A. Second chord is G major, which is G, B, D. Third chord is C major, C, E, G. And then the fourth chord is F major, which is F, A, C. All right, so with these four chords in mind, so D minor, G major, C major, and F major, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts first. F and D minor together. After that, G major by itself. E and C major together. After A, F major by itself. And that's the fifth part. One more time for this fifth part, let's play like this. Together. Here. Together. Here, like that. Yes. So that's that, okay? So remember for this song, the melody is actually more free in the rhythm. It's very expressive, so yeah. But anyways, that's just something for you to take note of. Let's move on to the sixth part. The sixth part now continues like this. It goes C, D, C, C, B flat, A, G sharp. And then it goes down to E, G sharp, A, A, B, A, C. And that is the sixth part for the right hand. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this. So it goes C, D, C, C, B flat, A, G sharp, down to E, G sharp, A, A, B, A, C. And that's the right hand. Once you get that left hand, four chords here, the four chords are B flat major, which is B flat, D, F. Second chord is first inversion of E major, which is G sharp, B, E. Third chord is A minor, which is A, C, E. And the fourth chord is C major, C, E, G. Okay, so these four chords in mind, so B flat major, first inversion of E major, A minor, and C major. The two hands together goes like this. Okay, right hand starts with the C, D, and B flat major together. After G sharp, first inversion chord by itself. Right hand continues. A and A minor together. After that, C major by itself, like that. So it doesn't really matter what, where you play the chord, it's all the same. So you want to do it here, you want to do it here, it's the same thing because it's just in a different octave, okay? So yeah, remember that, so together, here, together, here. Yeah, so you can even do it here so it's not too jumpy, okay? Like, like that. Okay, but anyway, let's now um, re yeah, recap the fifth and sixth part back to back where we play like this. Now moving on to the seventh part. Seventh part continues like this. Right hand goes D E three Fs, E D, and then C D E F E D C G A. 
and that's the seventh part all the time. So it goes like this. So it goes D E F F F E D C D E F E D C G A. And that's the right hand for this seventh part. Once you get that left hand, we have the same four chords as the fifth part. So if you recall, that's D minor, D F A, second chord G major, G B D, third chord C major, C E G, and fourth chord is F major, which is F A C. So with those four chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts with the first two notes, F and D minor together. After that, G major by itself, E and C major together. Itself, like that, and that's it. One more time, like this. Together, here. Together, here, and that's it. Okay, so uh, back to back, the fifth, sixth, and seventh part will be played like this. Check it out. Oops, one more time. Okay, so uh, yeah, we got too excited. We're playing the eighth part right now. But anyway, let's learn the eighth part right now. So eighth part, right hand continues. It goes A C D C C B flat A G sharp F sharp G sharp A, and that's the right hand for the eighth and last part. Okay, one more time. It goes like this. It goes A C D C C B flat A G sharp, and then F sharp G sharp A, and that's the right hand for this eighth part. Okay, once you get that left hand finished off with the three chords here, we have B flat major, B flat D, F, second chord E major, E, G sharp, B, and just finish with the last chord A minor, A, C, E. And that's it. One more time, the three chords are B flat major, E major, and A minor. With that in mind, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts first, together, together, and then run, together. That's it. One more time like this. Together, Together, pause for the more dramatic effect, and then I love together. <laughs> I love together. I love you. Yes. Okay. So that corresponds to the lyrics there. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah, you don't want to do that much for this song. You can do like the you play each chord like twice, kind of effect to keep it calm like that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So you're going to just be like. So that's the effects you can do for the left hand pattern. Or else, if you want to make it more bigger, you can. Uh, for if, like the fifth section and onwards, you can make it bigger since it sounds a bit more like the climax. So you can be like more octaves on the, uh, not or octave, more arpeggios on the left hand and octaves. You'd be like. Anyway, they're improvisations. If you want to learn how to play like that as well, learn how to apply left hand patterns, right hand improvisations to your songs, go ahead, you can learn it from my piano courses. Linked in the description below is bestpianomethod.com, my website, you can learn it from there. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Check out the rest of my channel. I literally have multiple thousands of piano videos for you to enjoy. Yeah, enjoy your time around my channel and now see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.